Jabla, jabla, pas là pour maman, moi, pas là pour maman, moi, maman, moi, pas qu'à vers là. Pas là pour maman, moi, maman, moi, pas qu'à gâcher. Pas là pour maman, moi, c'est là pour les nés, mon temps. Pas là pour maman, moi, maman, moi, pas qu'à faire ça. Pas là pour maman, moi, maman, moi, pas qu'à faire ça. Pas là pour maman, moi, c'est là pour les nés, mon temps. The cry of the descendants of African slaves and the drum sounds of African peoples, you find that that is ever present in, in the lives of Caribbean people. You see, as, as black people continue their struggles to, to make a living from the land, and, and also from their, from their own abundant skills too. You find that their, their language, their songs, their dances, all their, all their creative expressions form the, the moments of celebration and, and they are the sources of hope. It's Je <laughs> 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 The island of St. Lucia is located in the, in the middle of this arc of islands in the Caribbean. And, well, the legacy of colonialism naturally has left the imprint of European culture. Yet you find it is the, the African heritage which makes for what is unique in St. Lucian culture. The songs, the, the dance, the craft, the queer language, all those things, they have survived the, the challenges of other cultures. The community of Piai is located on the southwest coast of St. Lucia. Now, Piai came into being when eight families of laborers migrated from the neighboring estates of Balabush and Safi. So over 100 years ago, to form a community. Now the majority of the population of what, 400, are people who have a very strong consciousness of being descendants of people of West Africa. And they call themselves, and they are called Negjine. The people in Piai are still engaged in subsistence farming. And, well, those who haven't gone to the towns, they sell sand for a living. Nous avons agi, nous sommes presque monarchiques là. Nous avons écouté monarchiques, nous avons peut-être des femmes faibles, nous avons dit nous avons pris un vent. Les petits chiens ont soufflé, nous avons mis des voiles, nous avons mis des noix en l'air, des noms de l'air, les vents en bas, nous avons dit des bons d'air. Les vents en bas, nous avons des bons d'air, 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 les nous tenons nous, 
si c'est pour vivre, nous ne pouvons pas nous attendre pour vivre. Si c'est commencé, nous commençons à étendre, nous attendons ça là, nous allons attaquer le bordel, nous allons entrer, nous allons virer, nous allons prendre encore, nous allons chercher dans la salle, nous allons voir, 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 <laughs> Beneath the natural tranquility of Piai, the African rhythms of Kotumba, Debot, and Bele, that live, those rhythms live in the people. The people of Piai are known all over St. Lucia, all over the Caribbean, for their skills in carrying on these African dances. For instance, the Debot is well known. <laughs> As though Pi divided into two areas, we call one a lemon and the other side a four Pi. And the nights, we people from a lemon playing games, and then we invite the people down a four Pi to come and meet us. Sometimes. People from our 4PI are doing the same thing and they invite we, people from our Lebanon, to come and meet them. And we all join in together to have some fun, which was very good. Well, a, a debut or kutumba has to be organized. I mean, it's usually given by someone, a particular person. Uh, one of that person's responsibilities is to provide drink, you know, to help things to flow. So that person provides drinks for the dancers, you know, and, and for the drummer, of course. And before the session really, really warms up, really gets off the ground, and people start to gather, and nothing has really, you know, happened yet, uh, you find some games will start up. We begin to do a few dances and some games, some traditional games, to really start to, to warm up the atmosphere. And then now, at a certain point, you find that people really get into the mood. Yeah. <laughs>
So you have to know everything from what that was there. Is that everybody knew. Imagine the, before we knock the drum there. You see all of them dancing there? They're just dancing. They know all the songs. They know already how to dance it. If it's so, if it's the other way, you know how it is. They know all kind of version of the song. They know everything. Before you knock the drum, they don't know what, how to dance it. I'm a young in PI and when I grew up, I found culture going on and I wanted to learn more about it. So I saw how the people went on dancing it and I followed the steps and now I can dance it. As in the case of the belly, you find that the younger people of the community are not formally taught the dance, you know. It's an interesting thing. You more find that the older people, like, help them to, to perfect what, what they've understood and what they've picked up by watching. And they, 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 so they help them to perfect the skills of doing it and also to understand the meaning of the dance. It's much more that, not a formal thing. There's a grown-up man in the group, and that's Mr. Clifton, right? Yeah, so we, everybody know him as part of the You see, at times when he and the two of us meet, we always have a little chat, you know, and I tell him, well, like the word Congo, like if I hear him mention a word that looks funny to me, like it's, you know, like it's a Creole name, I always ask him, what does that mean? Because he knows more than me, right? And then, and also my president, Mrs. City, and then I ask her, well, no, 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 well, what, what does certain sort of word mean? Like, like if she say, well, you know, money, more or something like, you know, word that's not familiar to me, then I ask them, and then they always tell me what, what, what it's like, and then I, I go through it, you know? Lila, lila, la 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 Lisi me va, ila, ila la la, la la, la la la, la la, ila la 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 li, la 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 la, mu mai la, mu sati si, mu ali kai, mu lisi mu le va, kat mu itu ni, mu tu vi mu kuton. Ila, ila la la, la la, la la la, la la, ila la 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 la. Well, the the moment of celebration 
on, on any evening comes with the dancing of the Kutumba. Now it, it is in, in this now, in, 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 you know, in the coming together of a number of things now, like the, the, the power uh, and the clarity of the chante, that, that's the main singer, and the, the timing and, and, and skill of, of the drummer, the, 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 the power again and, and the precision and you know, movement of the dancers, all these things coming together now in, in, in a whole. You know, that, that's what really makes watching these African dances such a pleasure.
Kutumba is performed by a solo dancer, unlike all other St. Lucian traditional dances. In the middle of a circle, the dancer walks a few steps forward before he suddenly steps back as if he was stumbling. Some dancers like to perform this figure only once and to quickly turn to someone else who takes their place. The pace by which the dancers exchange roles then becomes very rapid and the dancers are said to work fast. Other dancers prefer to perform this movement just described several times before they are replaced. They can thus embellish the figure and allow the drummer to become more expressive. Two different types of kutumba can be distinguished by the ending figures. In the dance called simply kutumba, the solo dancer invites someone to replace him by giving a nod to the head. At that precise moment, the drummer underlines this signal on his drum by a damp sound called va. In the other dance called Kutumba Gwami, the dancer claps three times in front of the next executor. The three claps are simultaneously reproduced on the drum by three vap sounds. Otherwise, the movements of the two types of Kutumba are similar. Indeed, the drummer follows closely the movements of the dancer and punctuates these movements by special rhythmic strokes. The tight coordination between dancer and drummer brings forth the admiration of every participant. The performance of a Kutumba dance, moreover, goes hand in hand with the conception of the Jini people about life and death. For instance, they say at birth of a child, Jini people used to cry. Even though they do not pursue this tradition today, the genie confess that they remain perplexed and worried about the future of a newborn child. They fear that the child might be sick or become handicapped in the course of his life, that he might become a thief, or that he might experience all sorts of other miseries. In brief, genies see life as a long journey full of obstacles. Death is thus celebrated with singing, drumming and dancing because it signifies the end of a man's miseries. By the end of, of the evening, of the night, you find that the whole community will have come together to join in this celebration. And the energy, you know where the energy comes from? From the commitment to carry on the tradition.
Il dit Sam, allez, comme c'est moi qui l'a monté. C'est moi qui l'a monté. Vous voulez changer l'argent. Sam, allez, comme c'est moi qui l'a monté. C'est moi qui l'a monté. Vous voulez changer l'argent. Sam, allez, comme c'est moi qui l'a monté. C'est moi qui l'a monté. Vous voulez changer pied plat. Sam, allez, comme c'est moi qui l'a monté. C'est moi qui l'a monté. C'est moi qui l'a monté. Sam, allez, comme c'est moi qui l'a monté. Ça va, les gars, c'est moi qui l'a monné, oui, c'est moi qui l'a monné. 